In terms of our aspirations for storms, like we always wanted them to be something that a crew can kind of look at. It's a big physical thing in the world. You can look at it, you can understand where it is, how big it is, you can see it moving, and you can have a look as a crew and you can decide, do we want to go through this or do we want to go around it? So we needed it to feel like really foreboding to give you that sense of whether you want to go through it or not, but at the same time, we wanted it to be exciting and exhilarating. Yeah. And because the system that we've gone with, like the storm cloud and the whole thing, it's really trying to sell this idea of vulnerability and exposure and that kind of goes beyond just sort of the visual of it's dark and there's big waves but it's also all this kind of spray flying at you yeah. flying off the waves this wind which is you know constantly blowing at you and you can actually see the wind affecting the direction yeah. of the rain the sea's raging and they need to kind of battle to get through it so we made the waves a lot bigger didn't we mm -hmm. um, in the storm so you get that real sense of kind of like yeah. riding up the waves and crashing down the waves but we also wanted to make the way that the ship handled different inside the storm. So the currents of the storm will, will drag the wheel around like by itself. So if you don't have somebody standing on the wheel continually fighting it, you'll kind of drift off and not be able to go where you want to go. And even if you are there steering the wheel, you really have to fight. It's very yeah. difficult to go the direction you want yeah. to go. And we added in the ability to have the, the deck actually get wet as well yes. as part of this, didn't we? So yeah. the waves are coming over, but the deck actually gets wetter and yeah, then it'll so start to drip below deck. I don't know well. how many people are going to notice this but it's actually a proper fluid simulation of water kind of seeping through all the planks yeah. on the deck you also get a very slow amount of water just mm. filling up so after you've come out of the storm there's a little bit of cleanup yeah. you'll have a couple of buckets of water that you'll need like, to bail out even at the bottom of the ship you're not going to feel safe you can feel it rocking yeah. around and all this water sloshing and around you can hear it still as well yeah you can, you hear, can hear, the, hear it still as well you have all the wind and the rain it's really kind of oppressive atmosphere yeah. from the tech art side we've we've always known that this was like a major milestone we were going to hit. So we've had a lot of the supporting features slowly added in over the course of development. Like the rain system was one of the very, very first things that we had the rendering team at the Unreal Engine. And we've obviously had the whole cloud system with the clouds moving around the world. And there were things we'd added to that like, we built that in a way of knowing, didn't we, yeah, that we were going to want storms at some exactly. point Exactly. Like we, we had the idea of pressure zones, which would allow you to congregate clouds in a specific area, but also to push them out and create openings within the cloud cover. So it really looks churning and yeah. angry and just you know tumultuous. It really looks so different from when you're just out on the It does. You can tell water. straight away, yeah. can't you, that you're in a storm. There's no doubt about uh, it. I'm screwed. Yeah. <laughs>